the state of this thing. The state of the little car, I can't even believe it. So tomorrow is Twizzy MOT day, basically. And this is the first time I've had to do an MOT for ages because I've always called me very, very lucky, but I've, I've been driving new cars for the last, well, blimey. I mean, it must be about five years now, something like that. Um, mainly because of the deals you can just get on the new cars. They're just, you know, so good. So the Twizy isn't new, obviously. It's about three years old. Um, well, it's exactly three years old because I need to do the MOT. So in the UK, if you buy a new car, three years after it's been registered, you have to do like a thing called an MOT test. Yeah, I don't know what it's called in other countries, but yeah, basically they just test the sort of normal things like brakes and lights and, you know, make sure everything works. So I'm going to have to give the car a kind of going over today just to make sure it's going to be ready for tomorrow morning and hopefully it will pass with flying colours. Now I've booked it into a garage not far away from here mainly so that you know if I need to use this garage in the future I can then sort of you know make a make an introduction and also you know I can I can probably skateboard back from there um, it's about three or four miles so in this weather maybe not but <laughs> in the summer it'll be good. Got my bucket time to give the Twizzy a once over. about the Twizzy is it is small but it, there's so many bits like the open suspension and stuff. Right now annoyingly next thing I've got to do is I've got to change my LED headlights back to these standard bulbs just for the test because the beam pattern on the LED bulbs just do not trust plus that the full beam is like way up in there so I'm going to stick these bad boys back in. Well, they're not really bad boys, they're just boys. Uh, we need a little, need this little um, Torx set because they've got some uh, Torx screws on the light assemblies. This is a great thing about e-bikes, guys. You don't have any of these stupid tests for the for road legal crap. This needs to come off. You just literally pull this. Um, <laughs> easier said than done. It does come off, but really you need two hands. So you can get, once you get one out, then you can get the others out. There you go. And there is the front of the car. Looks weird without the front. Right, so basically what you want to do is take out these, this section here, not the actual light. The light's kind of set up and it's got all these um, kind of screws to help it, um, you know, keep it at the right angle. So basically you just want to take out these screws at the top and then that whole thing comes out. Don't lose the screws. Now it's helpful just to remove the whole thing because you need to stick a bit of force on this, twist this plastic thing around so that that comes out and then the light comes out with it. So there's my nice LED ones and we're going to say goodbye to them for, for now. Stick them back in tomorrow if all is good with the test. Alright, it's all in there nicely, you can see that. Uh, all you've got to do now is just stick the side light back in, which is easy enough, just push it in, turn it, and then um, put the connector on and then put the light back on, that's one side done. Right, done, let's test them out. It's funny isn't it, the LEDs, the, even the side lights look brighter than the actual headlight. Shows like eight amps on the power box when you turn the, um, the headlights on. Battery stuff. Right, so other things I need to test on the car to make sure they're working properly are hazards. Hazards are always a problem in this car because of this switch, um, it just fails. Um, and basically, when I got this car, this switch wasn't working. Um, but all I did was just spray some WD-40 in it, worked it in properly. Um, and it seems to seems to be working pretty well now. So that's good. Just make sure the lights are actually got no bulbs out. Normally, I think if the bulbs are out, I think you just get a rapid flash in with these sort of things. I'm not sure, but they were working. Also, what wasn't working was the um, handbrake light, um, which I just had to put my hand up and wiggle around the connectors. And and actually, I did spray some switch cleaner in that because it just wasn't just wasn't working. So. I'm not entirely sure if a handbrake light is an MOT failure in the UK. I'm not sure. Probably is. So kind of petty stuff they ask for. Right, uh, 
So in this you have to press the brake down, don't you, to turn that off. So that's that's working. Seems to be working okay. Uh, what else? Brake lights and everything else like that. It's going to be tricky to test on my own. So this car is so damn small. I could probably, I probably can. It's working. I think there's, yeah, I think there's two in there actually. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll put the camera on the floor. Right, just need to check the actual indicators now. Right, left. This is boring, guys. I'm sorry. Might have to change that wiper, you know. All right, guys. Now for the interesting bit. Do a bit of a brake test. Try and get rid of some of the rust. The rust build up. Build up. Ugh. The rust builds up on these um, on these little brake discs, and every time you come down in the morning, even if you drive it every day, there'll be rust on there. So, just need to try and. It's just not possible to get anything done without people asking questions. Do love it though. That was fun, guys. Now I need to see what the damage is. <laughs> no, everything seems to be working as, as well as it's supposed to be. Um, brake discs, yeah, they look all right now. Uh, yeah, so you're never, you're never going to clean it off in one run, even if it was quite a blast, actually. Um, makes them look a little bit better. It looked like there wasn't any metal on it before. It's like rusty. Tyres are basically brand new. This little car has been in storage, well, before I, I got it, it was actually in storage for for, for ages. They just, I think they charged it once a week. It's like an old old lady, and she charged it once a week or something just to, just because that was what she was told to do. Um, which is quite sweet, but so roll on tomorrow the big test Morning guys, it's time for the Twizzies MOT Twizzy versus Range Rover Who can get to the garage first? I've lost there guys, I've lost there <laughs> She don't drive slow either. No, she's creeping up on me now. Good luck, little car. Good luck. Right, the verdict is it passed. No problem at all. I mean, I didn't really expect it was not gonna because, you know, it's only done, well, when I got it, it done like 300 miles. So, um, in total now, I think it's just done just over a shade over a thousand. So, you know, pretty much everything about the car is, is new anyway. Um, obviously, I was just worried about the brakes. Yeah, there was no, like, advisories on anything at all. We just said, yeah, just passed, no problem. But it's been such a long time since I've had an MOT done on a car, um, you don't actually get a bit of paper anymore. Like, a, <clears throat> you actually get, like, a, it's just a printout, um, because I think he said it's done online. But, like, some of you guys will probably remember, um, the MOTs you used to get, the certificate was like a, you know, a little nice little certificate. I think it even like had a hologram on it or something like that. But they've obviously stopped stopped doing that. So yeah, that's all good for another year. Um, glad. So yeah, so yeah, that's all good for another year anyway. So happy about that. So I can stick these LED lights back in now. But I'm not going to do it now because it's coming up for 11 o'clock at night. Anyway, guys, hope you've enjoyed this little video. And um, yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. Oh,